Once you have edited your book and have your title, description, price, and everything else covered, you can start the process of self-publishing your book and putting it on a website like Amazon.com. Now, I am aware that there are other websites out there that you can publish a book on, like CreateSpace, but for this tutorial, I will be using Amazon.com because it is the largest website for authors and has the largest amount of people that you can get your book in front of. Also, I will be showing you how to self-publish books because, to be honest, I have never published a book with a major publishing company. Plus, there are different rules that you have to follow for different companies. So if you choose to go that route, please adhere to their rules, and I wish the best of luck for you in working with them. However, for now, let's get started with self-publishing on Amazon. And just to let you know beforehand, this is going to be one of the longer lessons, but I'm going to give you everything that you need to know in order to put your book on Amazon.com properly. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to sign up for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And this is what is going to allow you to publish your book on Amazon.com. What you do is that you go to kdp.amazon.com. From there, you go to the right-hand side of the page and either sign up with your Amazon account, or if you don't have an Amazon account, click Sign Up. So to sign up, if you don't have an Amazon account, the website will take you to a page where you type in your name, your email address, and a password of your choice. And you also have to re-enter that password, and then you click a button that says Create Your KDP Account. Once you have created your KDP account, it will take you to your Kindle Direct Publishing dashboard, and from there, you will start creating your very first book to be self-published on Amazon.com. So to start, go to an area on the screen that says Create a New Title. You have the choice of creating a Kindle ebook or a paperback book, but for this example, we will be creating a paperback book. Creating an ebook is very similar to creating a paperback book, and we will be going over the differences between paperback books and ebooks in the next chapter. The very first page that you are going to work on when you are starting to publish your book on Amazon is your book details. The very first thing that you will be entering is your book title and the subtitle if you choose to have one. We didn't go over subtitles for your book because they are optional and in my mind they are largely unnecessary. Following that are two columns. Those columns are for the series and edition number. For the series, it is something that you want to fill out if you are writing a series of books. So you would fill out the series name and the series number, which is the number of that book in the series, like the second or third book in a series. If you are not writing a series of books, you could just leave this part blank. You only have to worry about an edition number if you are making an upgrade of a certain book. You largely see this with college books and how they have new editions every other year. So if you are not planning to do that, you don't have to worry about an edition number and you could just leave this part blank as well. Next is where you put down your name as the author. So you could just put down your first and last name. If you want to include your middle name or a prefix or suffix, you can do that too. Or you could put down a pen name if you want anonymity. For example, the pen name that I used to have before I started using my real name was a nickname that I used to have called Nicholas Amazing. It's a bit embarrassing today, but that's what I used to go by. Following that are the contributors to your book. This could be anyone who has helped you, from your editor or editors to your illustrators to maybe the person who may have written the preface or foreword for your book. There will be a drop-down column of all of the people who you can add who contributed to your book. I strongly encourage that you include them because like I said previously, you always want to help the people who have helped you. Next is the description of your book. So you could just take the description that you wrote down with your editor and just copy and paste it into the description box. After that are the publishing rights. Now there are two separate points that you could click and one says that I own the copyright and hold necessary publishing rights or this is a public domain work. 
Now what this means when you click on the button that says I own the copyright and hold necessary publishing rights is that you are the owner and the creator of your book. Meanwhile, if you click on this is a public domain work, that means that the copyright is available to anyone who chooses to purchase it. So I would strongly suggest that you click on the button that says I own the copyright and hold all the necessary publishing rights. That way, you know that nobody can infringe on your work and say that they own it when that when that would be a lie. You are the one who owns it and you are the one who aims to make a profit off of your book. So I strongly suggest that you click on the button that says I own the copyright and hold all the necessary publishing rights. Next are the keywords. Amazon.com gives you seven keywords to use and they are important when it comes to people finding your book. They are the only things that drive people to your book, but they are going to be crucial to your success. So the thing here is to use keywords that are both in the title and description of your book, and they must be accurate keywords that describe your book. And truth be told, this is another one of those things that you can have an editor work on with you. Next are the categories. The categories are one of the most important things to get right when it comes to both ranking your book and people finding your book on Amazon. It is critical to nail down the categories correctly, so you can't just select a category to put your book in and expect it to rank highly and sell on Amazon. What you need to do is find both the most relevant subcategory for your story because the more broad the category, the less likely your book will sell among the already established books that already take up that category. You need to find a category that is both relevant and one that you can make money from. The last thing on the detail setup page for your book is to click yes or no on whether or not your book has adult content, such as sex or swearing or violence or anything that could be considered mature and not for the eyes of children. Once you're finished with that, click save and continue and you will be going on to the paperback content page for your book.